How's it going guys? My name is Trey Hydroblade and today we're going to be refurbishing a table. So here's the story. My grandmother had this table and I saw it and I was like, man, that's a table. So I took the table from her and I decided that I wanted to do some sharp yard on it. Um, I just wanted to make it look like it was graffiti or something. I just wanted it to be artistic and uh, look nice. I wanted to basically take a table that was just a piece of wood and take it from a zero and turn it into a 10. It's rusty and uh, the varnish is old so I sand all the varnish off um, and I went down to the hardware store and bought some white spray paint. For the design that I'm doing it's graffiti so the background is white and I just painted five coats of white spray paint onto it. I didn't. I painted as many coats as I could with a single can because I really didn't want it to be easily scuffed and uh, show the brown wood through. Uh, then I went online and I found this image that I thought would work perfectly for the table. Now this image has a whole bunch of green lines on it and that's because I put the image in an app that turns it into a grid design. So it's a 100 square by 200 squares design. I think it's like a total of 20,000 squares but the purpose of this is so that I can take each individual square and transfer it onto the table and that's what I did I took a ruler and a pencil and I started to sketch out each one of the individual lines to make all of the little grid patterns that I needed and this took a really long time it's very light uh, the pencils you can't see it very well because I drew on it very lightly I'm gonna try to erase this later on and if you draw on it hard then you can't really erase it it scratches up the paint uh, then I went and started transferring the image from the one that I found online and the grid pattern uh, one block by block filling in each grid with a pen and well not a pen a pencil <laughs> and um, this design here it took me about I don't know uh, about three or four hours probably to uh, sketch out this one design it took a really really long time to sketch out this design everything in this entire process took an immense amount of time I'm not kidding I think I had over 600 hours of time put into this um, just specifically on this the problem is if you were this is a pretty much perfect transfer but the problem is if you shift down a block or left to right up down you move the block and the entire image is just messed up you pretty much have to make sure that you don't make a mistake but there's 20,000 blocks to fill in so there's 20,000 rooms for mistake basically you have to make a mistake not once in those 20,000 times and um, that was very stressful on its own but then I got the sharpie out and I started putting the sharpie in I actually got uh, the fine point ultra fine and up to the Magnus I got every kind of size sharpie so I could make sure that I had everything I needed I had plenty of sharpies and um, once I started putting on the sharpie on it was very stressful because if you mess up and then I don't really have any way to erase the sharpie so I had to make sure I got it right the first time and here you can see the sharpie looks way better than the uh, stencil with the pen the pencil I mean but um, the pencil is very light so it kind of looks crappy I mean you can't really see it a lot um, and the black is just really sharp contrast with the white so it looks really nice um, I actually had a friend help me on this so they work on one side of the table and I work on the other um, that helped a lot especially one of the reasons why we had we had two people working on this was because the pens didn't like to write on the white paint they wanted to just dry up and not have any ink come out at all even brand new pens weren't working I had a whole pack of pens so none of them were really working and we had to go over everything two or three times just to get stuff to write so you can see a lot of this is really lightly colored we actually had to very carefully draw this in the first place and then we had to go over with a second coat of black sharpie here's without the second coat yet you can see some of the uh, lighter designs in the mid lower section so it we wanted it to be completely crisp black on white um, that 
so we had to go over everything twice with the Sharpie. Now later on we finished that and I did the detailing work which was just some extra like little lines with an ultra fine pen that was like added depth to the art. And um, here it is completely finished with the uh, design anyways. Um, after I finished the design, I wanted to put a coat on it, a clear coat, but I didn't really have, I didn't know what was the best option to do and any kind of resin or something like that it was kind of scaring me with like air bubbles and stuff. So I went for just a sheet of plexiglass. It worked just, just as good, um, just as nice, if not nicer, um, and because uh, it gave it a little bit more depth. And I just put that in, tacked it in with a uh, couple nails, the smallest nails I could find in my hardware store. I pre drill the hole and then tap them in. And those are just on the outside of the picture. They're not on the inside. Um, that way it doesn't mess it up at all. But um, here's the finished table. This was, this was the before picture um, of the table. That's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like after. Uh, big difference. I don't have the legs on yet because I painted those. Here's another before and after. Um, but I did paint the legs black. I, I repainted them because uh, I wanted them to be good. They had a lot of rust on them and uh, I didn't really, you know, you don't want to leave rust on that. So the black looks really nice. Um, I was going to paint them white, but I think the black, wor black works better because um, of the sharp yard. It just kind of blends in with it nicer. But here it is all finished up and put in the living room to see what it looks like. Anyways, that's... Uh, that's pretty much all. It took about 600 hours to uh, finish all this, and um, let me let me know what you think. I mean, comment down below and all that good stuff. This is what I've been up to lately. And actually, if you're interested in buying this, I do have it posted on eBay. Uh, link will be in the description, so if you want to go check that out, maybe spread the word. I gotta get rid of this table because it's too nice for my trash room, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.